governors are going to be uh, opening up their states. They're going to declare when. The president changing his tune when it comes to who will reopen states, while at the same time halting funding for one group and bailing out another. Plus, concerns growing at a local nursing home after a number of deaths and positive COVID-19 tests. Whether we'll require earplugs or not, I don't know. Work on Amazon HQ2 continues despite the coronavirus, and it's about to get a whole lot louder. Right now at 11, the number of coronavirus cases in the United States has passed 600,000. That's according to Johns Hopkins University. Close to 50,000 have recovered. And we're also learning now of the economic measures locally and nationally to keep economies afloat. Tonight, D.C.'s police union posting to Facebook saying that the mayor has approved hazard pay for any city employee like officers and firefighters who have to show up for work. It's a $14 per diem and up to $140 per pay period. Metro is now asking all passengers, rail and bus, to wear masks while using the transit system. It will not deny boarding for people who do not. And this afternoon, the president announced that he is withholding funding from the World Health Organization, accusing that group of misleading leading the public on how COVID-19 spreads before declaring a pandemic. We will have much more on our coronavirus coverage in just a minute. But first, it's mid-April, but we've got temperatures headed down near the freezing point. We saw some snow showers in western Maryland in Frostburg and points west and at those higher elevations. Mm. Stormont 7 meteorologist Steve Rudin now with the forecast. Steve, maybe some more snow mixing in tomorrow. This is quite unusual. Yeah, it's very unusual, and uh, we are going to be looking for this to happen well to the west of the D.C. metro area. That's where winter weather advisory remains in effect for parts of the Blue Ridge, elevations above 3,000 feet. If you're inside the Capitol Beltway, the district, Arlington, Alexandria, through Fairfax, also down through Quantico, get ready for moderate to heavy rains over the next hour or so. Here's the winter weather advisory until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, that little sliver that is shaded in purple. That's where you could see upwards of 1 to 3 inches of snow, but for the D.C. Metro, it's going to dry out quickly come tomorrow morning. If you're going for a morning walk or looking to grab a cup of coffee, looking at temperatures that are going to be in the 40s to start, rebounding only in the 50s by afternoon. I have details coming up about the rest of the week and looking ahead to sort of an up and down forecast for the weekend. More on that in just a few minutes. All right, Steve, we'll see you then. Thanks. Tonight, we are learning more about a Silver Spring nursing home getting caught very hard by coronavirus. Nearly a half a dozen residents have died from the virus and several employees have COVID-19. ABC 7's Annalisa Gale now with this developing story. County officials are turning their attention to the Regency Care of Silver Spring Nursing Home and Rehab Center, where more than two dozen people have been impacted by the coronavirus. We've been fearing for quite some time uh, that this is exactly the kind of thing that we were worried was going to happen. Health and Human Services Chair Councilman Gabe Albernaz says he learned on Tuesday afternoon that five of its residents died after testing positive for COVID-19. It's just indicative of the issues of there just simply not being enough testing. Is this the first nursing home that you've heard of with this many deaths? This is the most I've heard of so far within the county at a nursing facility. HHS also confirming that two other residents were hospitalized and seven staff members tested positive but at last check on Facebook Regency Care of Silver Spring hasn't shared updates on the cases it's definitely troubling I think the the, the notification and the communication when there is such a concentration and something that we're going to have to track closely and they did not share details in a statement to seven on your side but they say they are adhering to CDC guidelines and the safety and security of residents and staff remains a priority do we think the death toll is going to continue to rise it's hard to say uh, without knowing the specifics, but if you have a number of staff members who continue to report to work and had it, uh, then we know how quickly this spreads. And an attorney for the nursing home says they are working with...